Woo -hoo! What is that? Oh, it's a sailfish! Woo -hoo! It's a sailfish! Oh. What's going on guys? Good morning. So today we're gonna run offshore. It's about 7.30, a little bit later than I wanted to, but um, we're gonna troll some deep diving plugs, do something a little bit different here. So I got, uh, this is a Nomad DTX 200. Uh, this is on a 50 wide. There's about 30 feet of 200 pound mono uh, leader on here. Um, and then it's tied straight to uh, a swivel, uh, a pro, a pro power, Pro, Spro Power Swivel um, right there on the end. Uh, so we got that set up. I got my deep drop rod um, hooked up as well with the Nomad uh, DTX 200. Uh, and then I got this uh, 16 uh, wide. These things have like 40 pounds of drag uh, with this little bit of a heavier lure. We're gonna dive on the, on the deep back. So I'm gonna go and try to hit the reef, uh, see what we can get. I also brought, um, you know my spinners with these smaller the smaller plastics my purple and black feather uh, and then i have my teaser set up i have a couple mahi rods um, but other than that we're good to go so um, i may try and grab some bait uh, on our way out but if not we'll see you guys offshore So I'm going to throw out um, all of my baits. I'm going to start with the deepest one first. Uh, I am going to throw a, I am going to throw a feather out way back, and then I'm going to throw the two deep diving plugs. So always go with my my favorite. I catch I catch more fish on this than anything. So this is the black and purple squid rig. I usually throw this one, you know, a hundred plus feet behind the boat and then I'm gonna throw my other uh, DTX minnows closer to the boat but still pretty far back one a little bit closer one farther back so let's get this in the water so we can start catching some fish and then this rod I usually just put up in the top um, and let it run it and then let it let out some line and then uh, once we get some line out there, we'll get the other two in. All right, this one has, this one's pretty far back. I let it go probably 60 seconds, 30, 30, uh, 30 45 seconds. Make sure your drag is loose on it. And then I'm gonna drop, starting with the plug.
So this plug, always make sure that, especially when you throw it in, it's gonna pull quick. So you wanna make sure your uh, bail is open as well. And then enough on it that you don't get a tangle like I just did. So let's let this one out. Get this one in there. When I always set the the drag to you, to want it enough that it's not gonna, you want it enough that it's not going to pull line on you um, when you're moving, but it can't be so tight that that as soon as a fish hits it, it's gonna rip your rod out. So we're about in that 140 range right now. So we're set up pretty well here. I'm gonna put a strap on there too. Got one in here. Just in case. All right, you can buy these off Amazon, super cheap, but. All right, I see something a little, a little uh, something busted over here. So we're gonna, we're gonna ride through it, see what it is. And then there's a nice rip right here, 130s. So we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep zigzagging between 100, 100, 180, 200, back and forth, back and forth. You know, and see what we can get into. Um, yeah, you never know. So, unless there's a fish on. It's too much weed. All the weed just gets caught on it. So keep going. Oh, look at that. Holy shit. That was a nice one. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. What is that? Fucking sailfish. Woo hoo. It's a sailfish. Woo hoo hoo. No way. Woo. Ha ha. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Woo hoo. How did I get a sailfish on the troll? Yeah. It's a selfish baby. All right. Ah. Oh. Ah. Tangle every line of half. You can see the sail. Woo. Uh. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Uh.
This thing is like a log now. Got a sail in the troll. Woo! Look at that thing. Beautiful. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh! Here he goes. He's off. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Good stuff. That was awesome. Woo! Yeah, baby. First sale and release. Let's go. Well guys, that was epic. Honestly, I was I was trolling trolling some lines for probably about an hour and a half. Tried some vertical jigging because I was not getting anything. And I'm like, ah, let me let me throw a couple more lines in the water. You know, on my way home, let's see what I can get. And I came around. There was a nice rip in a weed line, and the water seemed you know like it was getting kind of stalled there. So when I turned through, boom! All of a sudden just tearing line uh out of the spinner so i had it on a 65 um you know spinner so i look back i'm like is that a bonito and then i'm like holy crap bonito don't jump four feet out of the water so um it was a sailfish it's my first ever sailfish uh period and even on a spinner um you know uh and trolling a trolling my favorite so this is my favorite like I have spent more money on these things and I've caught more fish on this little black and purple squid rig. I swear to you, that thing, I made it. It costs about a dollar max. By the time you factor in the little quarter ounce weight, the crimps, uh, the, the hook and, and that little four inch squid skirt, I've caught more fish on that. I just caught a, caught a sailfish on it. I mean, that is always a go-to when you're trolling any line. Throw it in your deep back. I mean, it makes a huge freaking difference. So, um, just crazy guys, just crazy. This little black and purple squid skirt, it's the number six J hook, long shank. There's a quarter ounce weight in here. And this is on 80 pound mono. I mean, literally the cheapest rig you can get. And this is the best, 
I mean, I've caught more fish trolling on this than anything else, period. Trolling that thing in for a good five, 10 minutes, um, you know, or so I got all, <laughs> I got all my lines tangled too. You know, I had to cut one line. I, I got one back. I mean, I got all my, all my gear back, but I got all my gear back, but everything got all screwed up because the sailfish went across all of my lines and I was definitely not going to lose the sailfish. So I let all the other lines tangle up, um, you know, but I, I think we're going to call it a day on that one. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below more fishing videos on the way. I try to get out here as much as I can, um, you know, especially on the weekends, uh, at least for a couple hours, try to get a little bit of something in, um, you know, for you guys, teach you something, have some fun. Uh, and, you know, at the end of the day, uh, it's fishing. So any day on the water is a good day. But thanks guys for watching. This is Blue Water Life. Laying in your bed, fighting ghosts in my head. Wish that I could let you go Remember all we had How could we get this bad? Where did we lose?